The name's Rex. But you'll call me Captain or Sir. War does not come with a guarantee. No soldier gets the promise. Hey guys, Beard of Bricks bringing you guys another video today. Uh, sorry for the lapse in videos of the past week. I decided to go on a little vacation. I know I didn't put anything on the channel, but back now. And I'm here with set 75349, Captain Rex's helmet. And there is another helmet, uh, Cody's helmet, uh, which is 348, I believe. Um, I will be getting that eventually, just trying to trickle them out slowly. Um, I do have a couple more sets from the May wave to go over, but we have this one for today. It released on last year, uh, around May, April, for $69.99, and it has stayed that price the entire time. Uh, luckily for us, this set was not affected by the price hike that happened earlier this year, but I wouldn't be surprised in the near future that these helmets going up in value, um, at least when it comes to buying them retail. Um, the helmets that were released a couple years ago have already gone, have retired, and they have gone up in value to around $120 to $140 now. So, kind of ridiculous. And being that these will probably sell really well for the anniversary that they were released for, the 20th anniversary of Clone Wars, I don't imagine that we won't be seeing other commanders like Wolf and Fox in maybe, maybe uh, Commander Doom in the future. Now, what is the takeaway from this helmet just for, you know, why would you want it? I will tell you that when I built this set, I wasn't totally convinced that it was going to come out the way that it did. I really thought as I was putting it together, I was like, how is this, how are these pieces going to line up and make the facial structure and the, the unique lines on his helmet? And they really, the, the, this video doesn't do it justice. It really does look really good as his helmet. Um, the, whoever designed and built this helmet put a lot of effort into making sure all the creases and the seams, down from the paint to everything else that was detailed on his helmet in the cartoon was modeled here correctly. Um, if you're someone that likes to have Clone Wars stuff, I definitely recommend this helmet. Um, even for the price $69.99 plus tax here in the US, it's definitely a set that's worth your money. Um, I do have some smaller Rexes here for comparison. Uh, however, the one negative thing about this set is there is a lot of stickers. Uh, the I didn't put them on this side because I didn't feel like it, but there are four sets of these like uh, droid battle markers here that shows how many he's killed. Um, we have these pieces here on both sides. There's six of these, and then there are these pieces on the nose and the face that are also so. There's about eight or more stickers for this set. The antenna does go up and down. If you wanted to do that, it just sticks here in the side. It has no inability to stay connected which is really nice i know a lot of these sets have smaller pieces that fall off there is one part that is giving me some trouble and it's these uh the breathing mask pieces here on the side clip on the connection isn't too strong um but if you get it on there and you don't play with it that much it's definitely going to look really nice on your shelf or in your living room if that's where you want to display your sets um like I said, I, I think that the Helmet series is a very good line that LEGO's released. I think that if they do more of these in other clones, like Phase 2, you know, you could just... You've seen... There, there are mocks online of people who have already made these, but if LEGO were to can make a series of these with four or five different variations of Clone Trooper, I could see this being a very, very good line for a lot of people like you and me. Um, overall, the instructions aren't too crazy. Um, they do have some stuff in it, much like much of the 18 plus sets do have. Um, they do have like little markers here from the show, as well as um, just, you know, their process of building the set like they do with much of the 18 plus sets. Um, they have two pages of it, one in English and then two others in other languages. Um, I do think it's a nice detail paying homage to where it came from. And it, I imagine this set will probably be sold out here in the near future with the recent announcement of, of Captain Rex being in the new Ahsoka TV show, which is coming out in just a few months from now. Um, finally, I'll just say this. It's a very good set. I would definitely recommend picking it up just because when it retires, you probably will never see this set ever again. 
I don't imagine we're going to get like a phase one Rex or anything different. It's definitely a set you should pick up while you can. It's also very cheap and would make a great gift for someone in your life that does like Clone Wars. Whether it's a birthday, Christmas, etc. Awesome set. Um, as always, I've been Bearded Bricks, and I will see you guys in the next one.